I have a story to tell you about the Chinese method of silk making. No intrigue, but there is Chinese torture and murder. I was so excited to come and watch the demonstration of silk and to buy a silk blanket for my son. Silkworms are able to lay up to 400 eggs. Here are their stages of life. They start out as cute little baby worms and then grow and grow, finally getting to the cocoon stage and then emerging into a beautiful butterfly. Okay, a moth, but still beautiful. Now we get to see the live silkworms and then the cocoons. But now is when the Chinese torture comes in. So if you're squeamish, close your eyes now. The next stage is to take those cocoons and throw them into boiling water while they're still alive. I apologize, but I can't even tell you what he's explaining here because all I could keep thinking about were those poor silkworms in that boiling water. Everyone's just trying to tell me they're just worms. It doesn't hurt. How do they know it doesn't hurt? It sure looks like it hurts to me. I'm afraid this is not what I had expected. They even offer you a souvenir of one of these cocoons with the boiled worm inside. Now this girl has a great job. She's taken the dead worms out of the cocoons. Yuck! The next stage is to start stretching the cocoons onto small frames, getting to larger and larger ones. Then these young girls will take the cocoon, once it gets large enough, and stretch it on this frame. It takes up to 800 of the silk cocoons to make a blanket. So that means over 800 worms had to be tortured for one single blanket. The silk is so strong that you're able to stretch it and stretch it, and there's no way it's going to break. The blankets are pretty amazing. They're so thin, and they can keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Needless to say, I left without a blanket, and the gorgeous shirt I'd been carrying around for hours, which looked amazing on me, went back to the shelf. So I could happily say that no worms died for me that day.